Let's get cracking putting the lock on. It's on good and tight. Ready to rock and roll. Here goes. Okay, so it's held up to one blast. Let's see if it can take two. Here goes. Here goes. Okay, so it held up to one blast. Let's see if it can take two. Not trying to make excuses, but <laughs> this is where I was crawled under the table trying to get at the lock there. So, and there's a lot of give in this table. So although it, take, it took two shots, um, I feel confident in a real life situation upon a, on a solid one of those bicycle stands you would be able to shoot it off with one shot pretty easy but um, two shots isn't bad it's very quick okay so it took two blasts I can see here this is this is really bent round um, because the lock was loose at the back I think that uh, first shot lost a lot of its energy and on the second shot I had it tighter and I took it off without any problem. But let's take the lock off and have a look at it. Yeah, so here it is guys. Um, obviously it worked very well. Although it did take two shots, but um, we're going to test if it will take one shot when you've when you've got it in the right position. I was under the table and I deliberately shot at this end. If I was doing it for real, I would definitely go for the lock end. But I was hoping to salvage this lock so somebody else could have a bit of fun with it. But um, the lock right now is seized up. But we'll see what happens. We'll we'll pop this in the vise and shoot it from here which is where I would personally do it if I was doing it for real. So let's see if we can blast this, this off, holding it in the vise with one shot. Okay, let's take care, so it's doing nothing. There you go, it's, it's locked. Let's see what happens. And that thing landed where the watering can is. If you can see that green watering can, that's where the lock landed. Let's go find it. <coughs> there it is. Alright, wow. Well, let's take a look at this piece now. pretty warm out here today so uh, let's take the lock pieces inside and have a closer look at them. Alright, let's, let's see if we fix the lock. 
I doubt it. Wow, actually, I can't even get the key in. You see the gap there is closed up. The, the impact has narrowed the gap for the key, the keyway. So there's no way a key is going in there. And if you can see, everything has shifted. All the plastic sleeve has shifted. And I can't see any of the locking pole at all. So let's cut off the sleeve and see if we can get a better look. It's just a rubber sleeve there. Okay, so you can, we can see where we've hit it. This is the non-lock side, and it took two hits. You can see the uh, quite impressive indents there. The, the locking pole itself is totally busted, and here's the other side that took the one hit, the lock side, and the, cut, the impact even narrowed up the keyway there. You can see how, actually on both sides it's not wide enough to get the key in at all now, but this side here is particularly narrow. Um, yeah, so the ram set totally destroyed it, of course, we, we knew it would, but um, we just got to see it in action, huh? Oh, and the shackle itself, this is the lock side. It's got a bit of a kink to it, a little bit of a kink, but nothing too bad. But this side has uh, got a big old kink. That was not there before. Oh, one, one more thing for those of you that don't know what a ram set is. It is a nail gun, and it shoots the 22 blank. There's no projectile, it is just a blank charge. And inside the barrel of the ram set is a steel rod. And that blank, the blank shoots off, shoots off in here. And it sends a steel rod down the barrel, which protrudes about a quarter of an inch which um, so it protrudes out about a quarter of an inch but it comes down with such speed that it does this and of course it's designed for putting nails into concrete and through steel and stuff like that handy tool all right catch you later guys